Red Hot Braves taking on the Marlins in Miami on Friday. But a tough start to this one for the Braves. Matt Whistler is in some hot water, bottom one, facing Marti Prado. Two men aboard and no one down. Nope, lined over third. That's headed into left field for a base hit. Dietrich will score. Ozuna's on his way to third. Ball dropped by Kemp. He's going to come home now. It's 2-0. Alex like said last night, I mean, he has to come in if Freddie's up. He's got a 26 game hitting streak coming into this one, and here he cracks the ball hard to right field and he extends it to 27. He is some kind of hot. Ball bottled. Now Freddie's around second. He's going to head to third. The throw there won't be made. And Freddie Freeman takes advantage of a Stanton mistake in right, and he's 90 feet away representing the tying run. And it's left to Tyler Flowers, their catcher. Slash toward right. Chasing it is Stanton. He's on the track. Can't get it. It's over his glove. Tyler Flowers has a two RBI night, and the Braves have tied the game in the sixth. So now Real Muto's got to give up his body on anything in the dirt. A wild pitch could break the tie. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball. That's headed for the gap. It's going to get down, and Garcia comes through with a ninth inning hit. Two outs, four is on his own. Cabrera firing bullets. Line drive left. Diving try, and Malix came up with it. What a catch to end the game. Oh, that's two tonight for him. The Braves take it 3 2 for their season high seventh straight win. Freddie Freeman extends his hitting it on base streaks to 27 and 43 games, respectively, both of which are the longest active streaks in the majors. The 43-game on-base streak ties Hank Aaron for the third longest in franchise history. Matt Kemp celebrated his 32nd birthday in a most unique way by getting ejected in the third inning.